Yo, what's up guys? It's Sergeant James Day from Stupid Stuff Incorporated, and I am back for some more FTL. And I have not played this game in a long time. I barely even remember to play it. It's been several months since I played this. Uh, if you just look at the date of this compared to the date of the last episode, it has been a while. That was the last time I played this game, so yeah, let's get started. Um, we still have both ships. I'm going to do the Kestrel, just to kind of get used to the game again. Alright, as uh, as always, we have me, Sergeant Doomsday. We have Nick Me. It's like Nick Me Minaj. What? We have Markland. That was a terrible joke. That was a terrible joke. And then we have, uh, not Sheldon. We don't want Sheldon. Screw Sheldon. We want Sephirion, also known as Jeff. I'm not sure which is more epic. They're both epic names. And uh, let's do... What should we do? Um, the SSI stupidness. SSI stupidness. That's a great name. All right, and uh, let's just, I can't switch this around. All right, uh, let's get this party started. Skadoosh. I'm not gonna read that. And I am running this Windows windowed mode, and it's going to be a uh, 720p. I'm not sure if I can actually compress it in 720p, but that's a thing. It uh, runs better than stretching it. So, that's a thing. So I turn this stuff on, switch these out. Let's get Jeff to shields, Mark to weapons. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, I've not played this game in a long time, as I said, so it's going to take me a little bit to kind of get used to playing again. Um, ooh, sweet. Hmm. Let's attack them. Okay. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to be splitting this up into uh, 20 minute or so episodes, like during recording, like my other series, rather than having to edit and all that. Which is a thing. So, let's start on their shields, missiles to their shields, lasers to their weapons. And I think the missiles are going to fire first, which is good. That's what we want. Sweet, okay. So we've taken some damage, which is not good. Let's uh, take out their engines and their oxygen. This is probably gonna take them out no matter what. So, yeah, we still have the weapons boost, so this is a good thing. All right, they hit us in a non-vital spot, and yeah. So, pretty easy fight to start off, that's good. All right, we got some loot, some fat loot, as they say. They say that. Uh, we can, let's go to the store. Why not? All right, sweet. I uh, cannot afford any of this stuff. Let's uh, let's repair. Is it just gain money. That's I, I don't know. I don't know what that was. I thought I had twenty-seven before. Probably like forty-seven or thirty-seven or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting enough fuel. Don't need drone parts. Oh uh, yeah, we look good. All right, let's continue on our way. I don't need to go to another store. Really, just don't need to go to another store. All right, um, you arrived. I can do my epic voice, which really isn't that epic. You arrived. Find a number of ships convening around the station. You tune into their undecrypted communication channel and overhear half of their conversation. It seems that they need to take possession of an enemy ship intact. I'll offer my services. I have no idea if that sounds any good, but let's hope it does. That, my voice, that is. My awesome voice. Which is not a Darth Vader impersonation. Anyway. They briefly they briefly scan your ship and inform you that you are not properly equipped for this type of mission. So screw you. They didn't, they didn't say that. I added that bit. Uh, let's go there. I probably should have gone up. But whatever. Whatever's. You arrive at the beacon to find yourself dangerously close to a star. For a second I thought it said and star, but that wouldn't be proper English. An automated rebel ship, impervious to the heat, moves in to engage. Oh, and it is cloaked. Fun! So now we just sit here and wait. Isn't that a song? No, it's, it's not a song, CJ. Okay, it is uncloaked. First off, cloaking. Second off, weapons. 
Um, oh, you can actually do that, like in StarCraft. That is awesome. I used to just click on it, but it's so much easier to do that now that I play StarCraft. Let's uh, send Jeff over. Oh dear. Um, Alright, good. Their cloak's down, and their weapons are... Oh, butts. Oh, butts. Oh, butts. Um, Mark, repair that. Okay, they are, they are gone, but so are... Jeff is about to die. Get out of there, Jeff. No! Okay, this is not going very good so far. Um, we, we may... We may be screwed. Let's make sure the med bay is okay. Alright, med bay is good. That room is good. Weapon's good. Oxygen's good. Oh dear. There is no oxygen in there, though. Okay, good. Sensors are back up. Oh, butts. Oh, butts. I need... I need engines. Engines are kind of a necessary thing to have. I just gotta make sure I don't suffocate. Um... I'm doing, I'm doing this StarCraft thing. People do. Because it's cool. Checking my probe count. It's amazing. Um... Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, go. Repair the door control. Get on butts! Come on, get those engines back online. Alright, good. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, boy. Get out of there, Mark. We need you. Oh, this is not... This is not going well. This is not going well. I can't warp out, though, until the... At least until the bridge is repaired. Um, let's get door. Let's get shields. Let's get shields. Actually, no. Let's get door control. Oh dear! I need. I need that. I, I do kind of need that. Oh butts! This is not going well. This is definitely not going well. Um, this may be the shortest game of FTL I have ever played. I am definitely out of practice. Alright, the FTL drive is charging. The FTL drive is no longer going to be charging. Oh, butts. Oh, 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 I'm, go I'm going to die. Why is Mark at the helm? I don't know. I'm going to die. Don't stand in the fire! Have you ever watched a Wild Crown Door video? Don't stand in the fire. He stood in the fire, guys. Alright, if I can repair that in time to send Mark back up to the bridge, I'll be able to jump out. This is not... no, this is not... <laughs> this is an eight minute video. That is... I think it's gonna be the shortest, like, Let's Play video on our channel. Um... Um... You know what? Restart. Yeah, same everything. Let's just try this again. Oh, Nebula! Thanks, game. Yeah, so I'm just gonna try and see if I can get a little bit further. Um, that would be the shortest episode ever. Wow. That's kind of pitiful. Alright. Avoid. Let's, let's avoid it. I know what happened last time I attacked one of those things. We were kind of in front of, in front of an imploding star, exploding star, just really fat star, whatever. One of those. Let's investigate. Oh, it's unicorns, okay. Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Awesome, we got an energy. Awesome, I probably should have moved my guys around, so let's get you there. You're in engines. Right, NGR. NGR good at robotics and stuff. Repair speed doubled, right. So he's good for engines. Uh, Alright, sweet. Let's move him there. Our, our ship. You know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. There's a signal ship at this beacon. They hail you. We could really use some help. Our FTL navigation system is shot. Can you help us get to a nearby station where they can patch us up? Except fuel one. Great. Take this bit of fuel as a down payment. We one step behind you following your jump- Wait, did they just take a fuel and then give me some fuel? What? 
Okay, it's like, thanks for the fuel. Here, take this fuel. This game. This game. Let's go to the quest and then we'll uh distress signal and then we'll go to the quest. Sweet. I can't afford any of this. Sweet. You find the source of the distress call. A small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is starting to destroy the station. Your fire suppression system is not responding. Um, let's do that. Sweet, we got another guy. Oh, whoa, it's the rock dude. Rock man. Immune to fire? I don't care if he's. So this guy's like a slow tank. Immune to fire, he's got 150 hit points. This is awesome. Oh, and I found out. I looked at the options. You can go F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. Which is great. And none of those are fraps options, which is great. That'd be kind of bad. It's like I hit a button, it's like, oh, I just stopped recording. Whoops. So, yeah. I sh I, my weapons aren't even on. Let's aid the civilian ship. Um, yeah, I should probably power up my weapons, shouldn't I? Alright, so let's go, uh, shields and weapons. And this is what I always do, because it's awesome. Oh. Alright, so now we just got to wait for the weapons to fire. Oh, but oh, the rock man should be. He, wait, does he have? Wait, does you no? Know, he doesn't have a repair speed bonus, does he? Crap, I don't remember. No, he doesn't have any detriment to it either. He should probably go there, and this guy should go here. Um, uh, I guess a big word. Wow, detriment. Oh, buttocks. He is very slow. Though. That's not a good thing. Um. All right. Um, let's do that and that. Why is he? He's jumping on it. Okay. That is amazing. He's jumping on that. Sweet. I got some stuffs. Let's uh, open that up. Alright, come on, come on. Let's have you uh, put out the O2 stuff. Oh boy. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh dear. Oh dear. Yes, hit it with your, hit it with a rock. He, he may be running out of air. All right, sweet. We should be getting air back in those sec. Oh, he okay. He's good. Now we just gotta wait for our oxygen to come back. I gotta figure out where I want to have him. I mean, have this guy on engines, or I can have him on engines. Yeah, let's have him on engines. And then I'll have this guy just move around and repair whatever. Remember, he's F4, so I can just move him around and repair whatever needs to be repaired. I'll, I'll probably just keep him like one of these two. Sweet. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Um, let's go to the stress beacon. You arrive at the beacon and immediately detect the pirate ship. It seems this stress beacon was a trap. I'm sure that voice just sounds terrible. But whatever, I'm gonna keep doing it. Nothing you can do to stop me, boy. I don't, I don't know. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, oh Ion, that's that's never fun. All right, they hit a totally like the worst room possible to hit. It's like let's shoot where they have nothing of value. It's like, you know, if you really want to hurt somebody, punch them in the shoulder. 
a bad idea. I don't know, you could hurt someone if you punch them hard enough in the shoulder, but... Anyway, why am I talking about that? Um... The world may never know. Alright, so let's do some of that. Probably have him healing. Eh, why not? All right, let's uh, let's move on, and let's go here before we exit. Eh, screw you. I don't think I will. I don't. I don't think I will regret this decision. I really don't. So let's go uh, like this. And like uh, this. And now we wait. I've never tried auto fire. I don't think it's a good idea though. Why not? That was fast. Oh boy. So wait, what does this do? Huh? I don't know. I have no idea. What is? What is? All right. So holy crap, my FPS is going crazy right now. The joys of fraps. All right. Um, I think that's good. Let's have a uh, Zephyrio over here. Go and get healed up. And let us continue on our way. Let's power up the shields, it'd be kind of helpful. And yeah. Alright. Ooh. Eh. Let's purchase. Why not? Let's get six fuel. We'll have enough fuel for a while. Alright, and uh, I think that's about it for this episode. In the next episode, we will be traveling on to the second sector. I made it farther in this game than I did the last one, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to drop us a like and a favorite down below. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe for uh, hopefully more FTL in the future. I plan on at least, at least finishing this game. And, uh, yeah, I will be seeing you guys later. Bye!